Hey everybody, thanks for checking in. Excited that you are here. Uh, one of my favorite things I get to do is a lot of one-on-one -on -one coaching and groups, you know, workshops, things of that nature where you really get a pulse about, about the, the current challenges that are going on uh, with, uh, with corporations and, and with uh, part partnerships and businesses. One of them is the communication between a manager or a leader, which are two different things, uh, and employees. So if you have anybody that, that reports to you or if you report to someone, this is a good message for you. Uh, one of the biggest things that I see as opportunities is these little pulse checks, right? Just checking in on a regular basis. If you can even be advantageous enough or care enough about the engagement with your team members of checking in on a daily basis, it only takes 300 seconds. 300 seconds a day, it's five minutes. It's one less scroll right through Facebook. But just understanding that there's three big questions that you can be asking your team members every single day and this will help you with your retention it'll help you with your engagement it'll help you with your development it'll help you with uh with just identifying what the challenges are and what the and what, the, what the roadblocks are which is one of the questions so let's walk through them real quick okay so you're a manager wanting to be a leader two different things managers manage tasks right so they manage the tech leader helps identify what those tasks are and then identifies things that might get in the way and then removes those opportunities and then supports and coaches, okay? So this is coming from that standpoint. The first question I would love for you to ask your direct reports, uh, people who report to you, uh, the very first thing is, what does success look like in your role and do you have everything you need to be successful in your role? So whatever that role is, maybe it's an objective, maybe it's a project you're working on, whatever that is, do you have everything you need to be successful in that role? Because with that answer, you can identify what they feel their goal is, to make sure you're aligned there, right? And then also identify potential resources that you didn't know they needed, or maybe they think they need. So that would be the resources part. The second part of that would be, what kind of roadblocks are in your way? What's gonna get in the way of you accomplishing this goal? If you already have all the resources you need, what are the roadblocks? What are the things that are in the way? These are people, these are resources that you might need, these are opportunities you might need to take advantage of. What are those roadblocks? The very last question, the most important one, is how can I help? How can I serve? What do you need from me? How can I provide the best support, the best help for you to accomplish these goals? If you get those three things down, and it only takes 300 seconds, five minutes to get those things down, if you can put that as part of your daily routine, watch the engagement, watch the retention, watch the development, watch your planning, your succession planning, all those things soar. Because now you know. Why should you do it? Because your employees matter. And your employees want to know that you appreciate them. And just like I do, I want you to know that you matter. I want you to know that I appreciate you. And I want you to be in the best position to go get them.